You can't buy silver at Atmex today. First Robinhood wouldn't allow you to buy stocks. Now Atmex isn't selling you silver. What is going on? Welcome to Silver Heist. Thank you to our returning subscribers and guests. We are a channel that likes to hold physical gold and silver. To support my creation, please subscribe. Okay, big mystery. Atmex is not allowing you to buy silver today. Let's dig into it. Let's look at the parallels between what's going on with silver and what's going on with GameStop. Let's look at the parallels between not being able to buy silver at Atmex and not being able to buy GameStop and other stocks at Robinhood. So I'll give you my opinion. I'll give you the best information I have and just the facts. And then what you do with this information is up to you. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor. So with respect to GameStop on Thursday, the Reddit GameStop bubble is just a game for now. And well, it has been game on. It's a game until some big people start losing billions of dollars. Then it just got real. And this is when it just got real is at 70 billion reasons why the retail brokers just betrayed their customers. A TD Ameritrade became the first exchange to impose unprecedented restrictions on GME trading. We predicted that would happen next. Expect more exchanges to follow suit because hedge funds clearly need to be protected when faced with the retail day trading mob. 24 hours later, we were proven correct when first Robinhood put restrictions on a number of stocks. So Robinhood quickly said that you could not buy certain stocks at all, but you're allowed to sell those same stocks. And then Robinhood backtracked in a very non-transparent PR move and they said, well, you, we're allowing you to buy stocks now, but only one. So these are all the companies you can now buy stocks, including, including GME and including AMC. So you could buy one share. If you want a really good summary on what's going on with uh, GameStop and Robinhood, I would check out uh, Louis Rossman. I've watched a couple of his videos and he is asking the right questions. But let's move on to the silver. So here's the silver. Atmex, the biggest online dealer for silver. Due to unprecedented demand on physical silver products, we are unable to accept any additional orders until markets open Sunday evening. So they are in the business of selling silver. So the silver markets open on Sunday evening, and that's when they're willing to accept orders. So what would be the reasons for this? So it's not that they're running out of inventory. They don't want to sell something for $30 today that they could sell for $35 or $40 in the near future. Now, I'm not saying it's about to go to $35 or $40, but the people at Atmex think there's enough risk in the next 24 hours that they do not want to sell any silver. So what does that tell you? Do they know more than we know? They're not kidding that they're not selling silver. Looking for silver bullion, there's all of these items, one ounce bars, one ounce coins, silver rounds, maple leaves, alert me. They basically hit the kill switch, Britannia's, Krugerrands. They've gone in over the weekend and they said, hit the kill switch. We're not selling anything until things present themselves on Sunday night and we see where the market price is going. And so they are sitting on the inventory for the next 24 or even just 12 hours to see the direction of the silver market. So it doesn't matter if it's junk silver, doesn't matter if it's American silver eagles, doesn't matter if it's Atmex bars. These are things that are not just pre-order or they don't have in stock. They are items that they may have in their vaults and they are not willing to part with them over the next 12 to 48 hours until they see where the market is going. So that is what Atmex is doing. And maybe it is a defensive move that they have to do in order to survive. Nobody knows. 
So I'm only going with the information that I have and it doesn't matter if it's um, <laughs> one and a half ounce Canadian silver, you cannot get it. They are not willing to part with any of their silver this weekend. So uh, Ganesha silver can't get it. So you just cannot get silver at Atmex and it just doesn't matter. The format 007, no, no silver for you. These buttons, nope, no buttons for you. So no silver at Atmex. That is what's going on with them. So why would they do such a thing? Well, according to Zero Hedge, Reddit preparing to unleash the world's biggest short squeeze in silver. This is Saturday. And so this is either, this is real news. Now the Reddit forum does not have a single leader. It is a community. And so some of the people who bought the GameStop bought it 12, 16 months ago. The, the young person, 30 something years old, who bought $48,000 worth of GameStop, and now he is uh, sitting on $50 million worth of value. You know, he, he people weren't following him the whole time. Now that things are on the move, people want to follow him. But, you know, they can follow anyone who raises a hand at Reddit and says, let's Let's go all in on the movie ch the movie theater chain. Let's go all in on silver. So it's not a done deal. Someone is just raising their hand saying, hey, follow me. Let's go over this hill. So what is going on is that with all eyes have been focused on GameStop and a handful of other heavily shorted stocks as they exploded higher under continuous fire from Wall Street bets traders, igniting a short squeeze Coinciding with a gamma squeeze, the last few days saw another asset suddenly get in the crosshairs of the Reddit Raiders silver. And then, and previously, Zero Hedge on Thursday said, is the Reddit rebellion about to descend on the precious metals market? It could just be a self-fulfilling prophecy. Reddit may try and move the silver market. Reddit may not succeed at moving the silver market. A few people in Reddit may say, let's attack silver and no one may follow them. But enough people have gone to Atmex over the weekend to empty their stores to put concern in Atmex's eyes that they're not willing to empty the rest of the vault until they see where the price is moving. So when are the precious metal markets open? According to JM Bullion, the precious metals markets close Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern and open Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Markets are also closed every Monday through Thursday from 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern. The spot price remains static when the market is closed. So right now, since Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern, the markets have been closed. The spot price has remained static. And in the meantime, there is furious potential, either concern, speculation, movement in purchasing that until 6 p.m. Eastern on Sunday, one online dealer, Atmex, does not want to sell you their silver. So what can you do today? Well, you can either go to another online dealer and just buy something. You can buy... Um, Perhaps you should just buy the cheapest, lowest premium item that you can find so that you're not speculating on an increased premium, that you are taking the stable spot price of today and just buying something physical that you can hold. The second thing that you can do is just frankly hold the cards that you've been dealt, that you have bought silver in the past that whatever is about to happen or not happen, you will just miss the first 24 hours of that next movement. So for me, I'm actually just going to hold. This is an interesting story. There may be movement, there may be an opportunity, there may be a missed opportunity, but I have my silver. I'm just gonna hold the cards that have been dealt with me and see where this goes. So leave a comment below as to what you plan to do over the next 12 to 48 hours. Remain calm. Hold fast and best wishes and we'll see you on the next video.